this week uh, I got a question about uh, identity played up uh, how to set it up in, in in the slideshow model in Adobe Lightroom and it's quite simple and you don't need a hound dog uh, for that but we're gonna use this one anyway I guess uh, you have set it up here in the beginning identity plate setup and uh, you can use here uh, styled text you can choose any text that you like or you can do as I did I uh, use a graphical identity plate uh, for this particular setup I used a PNG file made a file in Adobe Photoshop uh, white text on a uh, transparent gray background uh, I export it as a PNG uh, I just go and locate the file uh, and move it in here and then I can use it on all the images uh, in uh, whether it be printing or for the web or, or slideshow uh, the next thing we'll do we go over to to the palettes over here and we have a slideshow we have in overlays in overlays you click the identity plate around here and and it doesn't seem like there's anything happening on the screen but don't worry you can also uh, put it in the beginning of a slideshow and at the end of a slideshow by uh, clicking intro screen and ending screen you can see it appears uh, here in the intro screen uh, you can scale it the way you want it have it any size that you like uh, same goes for 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 here you can have it any way you like here uh, but in the identity plate mode here uh, it doesn't seem to be here but it is you might have to change the opacity of it and scale it out and that's when it comes starts to show up uh, it was sitting down here very small in the corner and you can click it down there you can drag it out to make it bigger enlarge it and you can move it about so you can put it wherever you like in uh, in the slideshow wherever it fits and you can do it with each and, and every frame that you like and that's about it that you need to know uh, next thing is to export the JPEG and, and that's it